Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today, we're counting down our picks for the 20 weirdest unlockables in Assassin's Creed games. The Anus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see, understanding genetic memories. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the weirder stuff we encountered on our Assassin journeys. What's the craziest thing you've ever found in an AC game? Let us know in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Boat Cat, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? When you first boarded your longship in AC Valhalla, did you notice something missing? A fluffy white cat in the bow, right? Well, a quest calls Freya's friend will solve that quickly. This mission requires you put your life in the balance by chasing a runaway cat named Nolly. Nolly was once a ship's cat whose owner crossed the Rainbow Bridge. Ever since then, no one has been able to pet the bereaved feline. Wow! Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died, but he sure loves you. But hey, Nolly jumps into Eivor's arms, snuggles up, and is then recruited for your ship. You now have a long ship cat. It doesn't do anything but sit in the bow and sometimes take naps, but it's adorable, so why not? Every long ship needs a brave cat for luck and for the rats. The Isu Armor. Assassin's Creed Origins. The Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. A hidden entrance. How long has this been here? Sometimes you just want your ancient Egyptian protagonist to look like a cyborg. It's a lot of grinding, but you can have your own Bayek bot at last. When you enter the secret passage located in the Sphinx's butt, you come upon a puzzle room containing a miniature map of Egypt. It's not a push the right buttons or light the fires in order kind of puzzle. It's a feat that can only be achieved by completing all 12 stone circles and collecting 50 silica from caves around the map. This is not Egyptian. This takes a while, of course, but upon completion, you too can look like the love child of Ninja Turtles foe Shredder and Tali from Mass Effect. The first civilization sure loved glowing stuff. The Anus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. Thunderbolt and Lightning, Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed cheats aren't really cheats. They're unlockable effects or gameplay changes that are helpful or completely useless. This one falls into the latter category. We won't get into how to unlock this, as it's kind of long-winded. You have to be playing online, collecting pivots, blah blah blah. With the collection of 10 pivots, you can unlock a number of different cheats, such as infinite ammo. But why bother with that when you can have Thunderkill? Every time Connor takes down an enemy, it's accompanied by a Thunderstrike and Lightning Flash. That's it. Worth all the grinding? Probably not. The Auditory Cape, Assassin's Creed 2. Strike, Assassin's Creed 2 tells a tragic story in which Ezio's father and two brothers are executed after being framed for treason. One of his brothers, Petruchio, was only 13 years old. His mother Maria is inconsolably bereaved, spending nearly the entire game praying over her bed. In memory of his younger brother, Ezio collects feathers throughout Italy and deposits them in an adorned box in his mother's room. There are 100 feathers scattered throughout the maps, so collecting them all should be worth it, right? Well, if you catch them all, you get the auditory cape. Wearing the cape makes Ezio perpetually notorious, 
What a fine way to honor young Petruchio, who clearly just loved being constantly chased by guards. Rest in peace, little fugitive. Scantily clad, Assassin's Creed Origins. It gets hot in the desert, so Bayek presumably sometimes just wants to take off all of his clothes. But since sitting on a camel in the buff isn't so comfortable, he'll at least need a towel. Following the assassination of Eudorus in the bathhouse, Bayek steals the towels. Not cool, Bayek. Not cool. This grants you the opportunity to ride around Egypt wearing nothing but a towel around your waist. Bebes, the obvious is in van. And one draped over your head should you want to avoid getting a nasty scalp sunburn. It's surprisingly a little more coverage than Odyssey's bare-chested and oiled outfit though, and considerably less shiny. The Wacky Items Pack, Assassin's Creed Origins. Some of these features are clearly the works of exhausted programmers. Aren't microtransactions fun? The AC Origins Wacky Items Pack is available for 1,000 Helix credits, or you can cross your fingers and hope you get an item or two at random from Rita the Teleporting Salesman. The pack consists of a cotton swab scepter for cleaning out Horus's giant ears. A LOL cat heavy blunt weapon in the shape of a mummified cat, the swordfish sword, an ornate cupid's bow, and a unicamel mount. If you like nonsense, it's fine. Perhaps Bayek can wield the cotton swab while in the bathhouse towel? A hygiene pack? <laughs> the Fabulous Mount, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Sometimes, you just need a bit of flair. Well, AC Odyssey's got your back. If you shop around enough and purchase enough mount skins, the wonderful epic rainbow unicorn skin will become available for purchase. No weird quest or anything, just a bit of grinding will get you there. <sighs> It'll set you back 6400 drachme, but is it worth it? Hell yeah! The unicorn mount isn't just gorgeous, it also leaves a sparkling rainbow trail behind it that says, I came, I saw, I was fabulous! If white isn't your shade of choice, there's also a black one, but it'll set you back 500 helix credits in the store. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Perpetually drunk. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Because you're a good man, Edward, see? Goodness is your disease. You know those dizzying scenes in AC games where you're drunk? Do you sometimes wish the entire game was like that? No, neither do we. But you can have it. In AC Black Flag, Edward is a pirate, so he likes his rum as much as the next pirate. However, he's not a rampant, relentless alcoholic. But what if he was? For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find tis better to be a commander than a common man! The Abstergo challenges in the game are accumulated throughout, with unlockables of 10, 20, 30, and so on until 100. At the midway point, after 50 challenges, you unlock the cheat loaded to the gunwale which makes Edward perpetually drunk. So, if you've ever wanted to play an AC game with vertigo and cataracts, here's your chance. Distinguished Animals, Assassin's Creed Syndicate.
In AC Syndicate, there are a series of optional crime-solving missions titled Dreadful Crimes. If you're a sleuth type, these are fun, and much more like the murder mysteries in AC Unity. Here's the odd part. A keen eye will spot the quick appearances of animals wearing top hats in each of these missions, including a cat and goat, before they vanish in a puff of smoke. After all dreadful crime missions are completed, during the Murder at the Palace mission, a top hat can be found on the roof of Whitechapel Station, where the correct button combination will make all the animals appear at once to declare, We are watching you. Oh, you want a reward? Nope, just creepy animals and hats. Raving Rabbits, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. There's no one gets past. In 2006, Ubisoft began the Raving Rabbits series, which features creepy little rabbit creatures who likely inspired the minions. In a shameless bit of crossover, the creatures make a bizarre appearance in AC Black Flag. Remember those Abstergo challenge cheats we mentioned earlier? After 80 challenges, the cheat title Shiver Me Timbers unlocks. This turns all game enemies into rabbits. It's unsettling at best. They don't quite fit in, and they weirdly hop around on sticks. Now if they turned all the enemies into sharks and eels, we could at least get our revenge. This is just something no one ever wanted. Desmond in the past. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed Revelations. Desmond Miles, hero of the 21st century, can be loaded back into the 1500s during the events of Brotherhood. Unlocked by achieving 100% synchronization in Sequence 8, it's no simple task. But using Desmond's unique free-running and fighting style against Middle Ages goons is a pretty fun option. That might not seem too weird at first, until you hit cutscenes where Ezio is making moves on Desmond's potential ancestors. In Desmond's body. Basically, it's like those uncomfortable scenes in Back to the Future with Marty and his mom. Ugh. See, I am counting on it. And then what? Then I find Manuel Palea Logos. Ubisoft Tattoo. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, you're playing your own custom Viking this time around. Slap on whatever blade or armor suits your fancy and get to questing. Or make Eivor a little more personalized with whatever skin ink you could possibly dream of. We're talking wolves, runes, handprints, this one that makes you look like you like raw meat, and the strangest of all, Ubisoft's own corporate logo. In not one, not three, but four alternate forms. Which begs the question, who would want to deck themselves out as an esports-esque sponsored raider? Especially when certain actions we take as a player are slightly questionable from a morality standpoint. But that's another conversation for another day. Cake Boss, Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> We don't know how to tell you this, but if you played all the way through AC Unity thinking you fought every boss, think again. An additional fight can be unlocked once you've found and eaten all five pink cakes scattered throughout Paris, each of which Arno miraculously scarfs down in one bite. Once you've interacted with the final massive cake in Luxembourg Palace, there's one final weird cherry on top of this already bizarre goose chase. The statue on top of the dessert suddenly comes to life, and makes his own leap of faith in an attempt to skewer you with his sword. Here, brothers! Cut him off! 
The one-on-one -on -one with Sir Cakington isn't exactly hard, but he does deal huge damage on any landed hit. Once he falls, fireworks will light up the skybox and leave you sitting back in your chair contemplating why. <laughs> Skeleton Crew, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Viewers beware, you're in for a scare. What does roughly 20 hours of side questing and 100 additional Abstergo challenges get you? Only the best optional mode introduced in any pirate game thus far? Yes, we're talking about the gaggle of living skeletons running your pirate ship. They don't lose any personality from their flesh and blood counterparts, meaning after a successful plunder, you'll see them hyping each other up, sharing in a bear hug, or just pushing each other around. Really the weirdest part about this is they are still determined to sing shanties despite not having lungs, and that you cannot be a skeleton yourself. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Ride the Unicorn, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Back to Rome, it may surprise you to learn that completing only the very first sequence with 100% sync enables Ezio to alter every equestrian mount in the game. Yep, horses are now unicorns for the general population of Europe, and everyone is just kind of fine with it. This was long before the bonkers rideable options of Valhalla, mind you. Oh, I see him! We guess that just proves assassins get all the coolest pets, but not only that, as the bond between Unicorn and Ezio is so powerful that it blesses a glow effect upon all of his weapons. Big Mouth, Assassin's Creed Rogue. I could see my house from here. Likely the most hilarious unlockable mode on this list rivaling that of the Jolly Singing Skeletons. After side questing for a decent 45 extra Abstergo challenges, the supple voice of Shea Cormac will be forced to deliver horrendous one-liners to everyone's dismay. Similar to Black Flag's Pirate Speak cheat, except far more out of character, charming, and ridiculous. No longer can you just climb something tall or get into combat without the rogue making some early Spider-Man level quip to himself. Whee! We've seldom encountered a mode that so effortlessly makes us both chuckle and groan in pain in rapid succession. You have to experience it for yourself if you have the chance. That kicks like a mule. Well, that went to pieces. <laughs> Swordfish, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's an actual fish sword. Next entry. All right, wait, we need to elaborate just a touch more. The weaponized seafood is probably the silliest item in the game so far, but it comes at the cost of your time. Only obtainable after completing every fishing mission from your settlement's fishing hut, just finding the right areas across several of the game's country maps is no joke. All that said, its stats are really good. And we can't pass up a two-handed greatsword in the form of a fish that sets enemies on fire for some reason. No godly idea why they refuse to elaborate. Cutting dudes' heads off just hits a little different when you're using a living animal as a blade. The Raiden Skin, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The first in only a few silly crossovers is this cybernetic ninja suit that hails from the Metal Gear series. This fit changes the physical shape of Ezio's body, leaving only his head from its original model. 
The strangeness in the details continues with invisible hidden blades, a lack of sheaths causing all your weapons to float, and a holstered pistol that cannot be equipped. You are finished! Somehow, this is not a slap together fan mod, but a legitimate unlockable for completing 100% of the tutorial mode. Hey, at least it looks good in motion, but we can't get over Cyberbeard. The Que, Assassin's Creed Origins. Is anyone else seeing this? Said the entire playbase of Origins when the crossover quest A Gift from the Gods was added post-launch. As part of an event with Final Fantasy XV, the game's villain Arden invades your world, drops a bunch of junk, and leaves, refusing to elaborate. We can't even explain the whiplash this one cutscene causes, as Bayek watches magical swords rain from the sky and sucks some dude into heaven. The strangest artifact left behind from his chair in the Animus is the Quay, a rideable mount based on the Chocobo, but we guess even the devs thought that it would be too silly, so it's some sort of half camel, half bird thing, which might arguably be worse. Turkey Creed, Assassin's Creed 3. So we've seen the silly, we've seen the bizarre. How do we top this and bring it all home? Feeding a turkey through the American Revolution with a secret code gives it a little assassin hood. Once again, walking up to a seemingly ordinary turkey and pressing the inputs for the famous Konami code, which once gave the player extra lives, will in fact unlock the knowledge of a secretive turkey creed. What more needs to be said about this? What would you say about this? What is this? He doesn't even have eagle vision. He's got turkey vision or whatever. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.